Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Build Erebor. Or rather, I should have probably called it Let's Build Dale, because it's going to take us so long to finish this awesome town, although it is looking pretty awesome, that, uh, well, we'll get to Erebor in like about five or six months, I guess, at this rate. But anyway, now last time, some of you said that there was a bit too much sandstone going on at the town hall. So as you can see here, I've changed the framework a bit, added some stone brick and some hatches for a bit of decoration. Now this episode I had grand plans for this idea that's been going around my head. I wanted to build a really cool, really enigmatic opera house on this weird cone ice cream shape out here. But more important to me was the river that runs through Dale. Now at the moment the sides are a bit jagged and grassy, but what I wanted, especially from the government district, which we've almost finished, was to tidy it up and add some roads and some decoration along the banks of the river. So with that being our prime goal, I got out some sandstone and began to border the edge of the grass here with sandstone walls against the water. Now sandstone isn't the best substance to build next to water, it's not the best material. So I did decide to change it to stone brick sometime later, but I just came along here, trimmed up the edge a little bit, kept it nice and even. and then drew this jagged sandstone line all the way along the wall here, keeping it kind of parallel to the big wall just before the town hall. And then keeping all the roads in our town about three blocks thick, change it back to day, and continue the sandstone to have this three block thick road next to the river. Now I left a space underneath the pillar there by the bridge which is just going to be grassy with maybe a tree and uh, and some vegetation. Now right here I wanted an entrance to those underground chasms. Now you may have seen before in last week's episode or rather the week before last when we were gussying up the town we left space for a large network of underground tunnels which is going to be a kind of like underground network going throughout the whole town. And throughout the town, there's going to be various entrances at different places. A lot like the sewer system in the kingdom build that we did, these are just going to be access points to get to the underground caves and the underground caverns. So I built a fancy pattern out of stone bricks and kept the rest of sandstone and sandstone steps, adding a place for a torch to go and then decorating the outside with grass, spruce trees, finishing the road and adding a bit of vegetation you see here, replacing that gravel with grass. And then adding a kind of border to the stone brick side of the river. Now I wanted to use stone brick steps the same way we built them on the walls, so we keep a kind of similar theme to what's going on on the walls, but it's still a little bit different because there's not so much sandstone going on that close to the river. And there you see the entrance with that weird kind of design, that pattern above the entrance, and that'll lead down into the underground network of caverns and caves. And there we are, that's generally the theme that we're going to go for with decorating the sides of our rivers. So I continued up here putting down these cobblestone half blocks as our road system came back a bit and I wanted to decorate this little bit next to the pillar with some grass and some raised trees. I put down some grass blocks, built the trees on top of those grass blocks and then replaced the grass blocks with logs to artificially raise the height of the tree and then filled in these kind of pseudo crenellations next to the river. Now I also wanted some street lights as well. So I copy and pasted this simple pattern of wooden fences and glowstone blocks, very similar to the other patterns we've had, but because these are diagonal walls, they had to be a little bit different in design. And now again here was that there was and now again here, I was also going to put in another entrance to the underground caverns and cave systems. So I went back to the first one, copied it, and then pasted it, because I thought the design was so good, and it was at the same orientation that it made more sense just to copy and paste it rather than rebuild it from scratch. Then added a couple of trees next to the river, keeping things pleasant and very nice looking around the government district. 
And then it was time to build another way up to the town hall. Now there's a bridge that reaches it from the right. But I thought we could also use a set of steps over this side to just make access to the government district a little bit easier. And then fooled around a bit with a raised section of garden. And toyed with the road section here. Adding some sides to the steps, much like the steps that we've got on the other parts of Dale. And then it came around and finished the roads here. And you can see how that all hooks up in front of the entrance to the caverns. Now, I really wanted to get that opera house done this episode, but it, I realised that building all these roads and decorating the government district had just, had just taken so long that I didn't really have time to come back around and finish the opera house. So I added a kind of sewer entrance here, in the river. With the kind of archway effect out of stone brick. Then finish this garden up here, adding a small bridge that goes over the road and connects the small garden to the road itself. Finishing up with trees and bone milling those up. And then I came around to the top of the walkway at the government district, and then again with the same design for those pseudo crenellations, finished up with stone brick steps. And again, I wanted the lamps from down the bottom to be repeated up the top. And now we know that this area is going to be well lit and really pleasant to look at and to walk through, even at night. And here we are, the finished government district. Well, very almost finished. There's going to be a few things I want to change. Like, I probably want to add some guardrails to the walkway bridge going over the river. But for the time being, look at it. Oh man, that's pretty impressive. Look at those glowstone lampposts, the white trees. Ah, oh, it's looking good. Now, yeah, I mentioned that I wanted to do the Opera House, but I didn't really have enough time to finish that up this episode. So what I did need to do was build some really cool looking main gates for Dale. These gates would head out towards Erebor, and I wanted these to look pretty similar to the guard towers we have around, but be a little bit higher maybe, and have an archway effect reaching over the main gate. So I built up with stone brick and sandstone these two towers either side of the gate that started quite thick, but then got thinner near the top. Then I decorated this raised bridge section because I want this gate to be able to cross over. If you're a guard, I don't want you to have to go all the way around the town just to get back to the other side of the bridge. The other side of the gate. What I wanted to do was build an actual bridge over the gate that guards could actually just easily cross and look out over when enemies kind of came to the knock at the door. So if Smaug tries to get through this gate, well, they'll probably smash it down and eat the ashes of the troops guarding it. But if anybody else tries to get through, they're going to have a tough time because this is going to be a seriously well guarded, well defended gate. So I built this kind of sandstone pattern and raised those towers up just a little bit more because what I wanted was the top of each of these towers to be like the guard towers but for them to be kind of connected as well with a walkover bridge. So I finished up the design with some dark wood, added fence posts and dark wood rooftops at the top of these guard towers and I finished the rest of the design with light stone brick and sandstone steps. Oh man, it's looking pretty cool now. Now this is a gate for the town leading towards Erebor, but there's going to be a couple of other gates I think in this town somewhere. I'm not quite sure how many and where. But I really do like this design, and now I might repeat this design, but the other gates might be bigger, they might be smaller. I want, I might, I want maybe a small kind of merchant's gate out the back, or somewhere where they, people can just get, get goods into the town, but it's not a large enigmatic entrance. Right, and then it was time to come down to the door, which I thought at first would just be a simple portcullis made out of wooden fences, and I toyed around a bit with an idea of having them be spiky. But in the end, when I'd filled it up with, with, the, with the wooden fences, it just didn't look right. So I added, added a kind of middle door section out of wood planks and upside down wooden steps at the bottom to be kind of spiky bottom crenellations. And there we go, the main gate to Dale. If you want to get to Erebor and you're leaving the town, this is the gate you're going to go through. Well, unless you swim, but that's a bad move. And then coming over to the government district, you've got the walkway by the sea, by the river, the entrance to the caverns, the lean over bridge that goes towards the trade district, and the lampposts and town hall itself. 
slightly modified with hatches and light stone brick, and in the road section, the extra cavern entrance, and some gardens just to make the place looking nice. Well, this has been Let's Build Erebor, and today we finished up the government district. It's looking pretty cool, and we've got a design and a theme that we can create elsewhere and just copy to make sure the town looks the same. And the same goes for the gates. When we put the gates in elsewhere, we can put in those gates with a similar design. So I've been Stjin, and this has been Let's Build Erebor. Hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when, fingers crossed, we can set about building that opera house. Take care.